Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me once again. You are always most welcome. So today, continuing Matchbox March. And this, this is a couple of um, sort of kits that I, I realise I've sort of got that don't fall into the usual category. So I thought I'd do a little separate short video on them. First of all, I was actually given this by one of my subscribers, um, the USS Indianapolis. Well, of course, this is a very historic ship um, <clears throat> and it's famous for two things. First of all, it's the ship that delivered the uh, atomic bomb um, from the research labs over in uh, Los Alamos and uh, ultimately uh, from the coast, obviously, I think from San Diego. And then it was obviously transported it across uh, to uh, the island of Tinian in the Pacific, ready for its use uh, at the end of the August 1945 for dropping on Hiroshima. Um, and then uh, two, three weeks, a um, week or maybe ten days later, very soon afterwards, it was involved in, uh, it was basically torpedoed by a Japanese submarine and it went down with a loss of hundreds of lives, hundreds of lives. Uh, and of course it's referred to actually in the Jaws movie, isn't it? Uh, Robert Shaw's character, Quint. He uh, he claims to have been on the Indianapolis and uh, surrounded by sharks, one of his first encounters with sharks. Anyway, we digress, but um, yes, yeah, so a very historic ship indeed. So I think um, uh, I should come to that last, because that's quite an unusual one, so we'll come to that in a second. But we've got these two rather nice cars, and this is the Blue Range, which is something I, I just forget completely, because I didn't buy at the time any of these cars, if I'm honest. And we've got the lovely MGTC sports car, which is very nice, and the Bugatti Type 59. Now, I think the reason I didn't buy them, and I, I didn't really know anybody else that bought a lot of these, a apart from, if you look on the side here, just to turn this one around, it's got the other products listed. I think the um, the Surtees, uh, Formula 2 car, I think it was, <clears throat> that one sold quite well, I think, because it looked quite like a Formula 1 car. And also, on the other one, um, we've got the, the Porsche 917, uh, which also was quite a popular car and very well known. But amongst the younger uh, modellers, of which I was one, so I would be, I don't know, nine, ten years old when this came out, these weren't, these didn't really sell that well. None of my friends really bought them at the time. And I think the reason mainly was because they were kind of old sports cars that we didn't really identify with. And uh, I do wonder about what Matchbox's strategy was with doing this at the time, because it wasn't like World War II subjects where, where there's a lot of knowledge about them and they have a strong following. This is more, even when they came out, these are cars that were 30, 40 years old, you know. And of a different era, very much so. Um, and I, I just don't know how well they sold. I, I get the feeling they didn't sell that well, really. I think the Bugatti was probably the better seller of them. I think quite a lot of the others, like the Jaguars and things. And they're nice kits, nothing to do with the quality of the kit here. I just wonder about the subject choices. Why they couldn't have had some more modern cars uh, of that era, I don't know. But anyway, there we go. A quick look at them though, because <coughs> they are nice kits. It's got to be said, I appreciate them much more now than I did then, in fairness. You turn them around, you've got this lovely... It's got the uh, window box design, of course, which uh, was very popular. And this is 1977, down here, 77 Lesney. And they, they show it quite nicely. I, I quite like the way they've done this. It's just the subject. That's the only, my only reservation is the subject matter. <coughs> you may have seen my reviews I've already done on these. They are quite nice. I'm going to just pop this out and give a quick, quick look. I've only have a couple of them in this video. We've got plenty of time, he says. That was the clear part that I've just ejected, not very cleverly. <sighs> mm. Well, let's hope that that doesn't scratch them and we don't want that to... Um, appear on eBay do we and they're actually fine <laughs> the windscreen but look at the uh, look at the body part we've got this very extreme red again a bit like that red arrows gnat our fallen gnat that we had in the purple range um, it's almost like a day glow orange red very lipsticky isn't it you know I mean I've seen girls wearing lipstick like this when they want to get noticed in the nightclub that's the sort of colour they go for um, you've got an engine and gearbox and it's all very nice, you know, and it's uh, pretty free of flash as usual. Nice mouldings and things like the seat. Let's move that because it's effectively focused. 
nice mouldings on things like the seat. Um, and you've got your leaf spring suspension there. Yeah, it's all very nice. And then, uh, very much of its era, <coughs> we've got uh, your metalised plastic for the spoked wheels. Uh, very popular at the time. There we go, see them there. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Um, not something I'll ever really get to learn to love, really. But again, when you're seven or eight, it's a great way of getting chrome finished parts. When you don't own an airbrush and you don't want to be spraying some fairly unpleasant chemicals uh, in your mum's living room, quite frankly. <laughs> you know what I mean. They're nice, aren't they, actually? Um, yeah, they've done it quite well. Even even got chromed exhaust. Really? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> anyway, so we're not doing a review because we've done it already. If you want to see that review, just go and have a look at my channel. Put my name in and then put in, you know, NG. And then it'll come up straight away. Um, so, yeah, they sort of skimped, skimped a bit on the colours, didn't they? Uh, on that one, but there we are. But a nice model, a nice model. I think it'd be wise if I put those clear parts where they're not damaged. Uh, oh, the tyres. The tyres, look. They've got some nice moulded tyres. So there we go. So we've got that, and then we've got the Bugatti. So I've got some question marks in my mind about the, um, the choice they made with these. Uh, I think they should have had perhaps a couple of more modern cars. They've been doing a Ford Capri or something like that, or a Ford Escort Mark II. At the time, they'd been selling quite well. I'm not sure these did really. I think the Bugatti, this one was probably the favourite. Um, yeah, it's talking about its lap of Brooklyn's at 138 mile an hour. Wow, okay. Very nice. Another one that's got this lovely, very striking uh, box art. Yeah, nice indeed. Nice colour plastic, French blue. Beautiful. Nice kits, you know? Nice kits. So that's the two um that's it oops, sorry. That's the two cars. Um now did you want me to get this out? Did you want me to get this out? You did, didn't you? Okay, okay. Well as, as we've only got a couple of them. I'll tell you what, we'll get them out. Just for you folks. Just for you folks at home while I put the put the as well. So, Bugatti Blue, beautiful. Oh, what's this? Uh, is that the decal? Oh, dear. A roll of decals like a scripture. Oh dear. It's just got the number 14 in it, that's all it's got really. Uh, it's not, not a great problem to replace that, I think. It's funny how it's rolled up though, isn't it? That's not normal. Tyres again. Bugatti Blue, Blue, Bugatti Blue, French Blue Plastic, which does look nice, and, and this is where having the coloured part, pre-coloured plastic, is actually quite quite beneficial, because it's the right colour, yeah, and you don't have to paint it. Looks nice, actually. Oh, we've got three colour kit, so we've got some black parts as well including steering wheel, there it is, we've got steering wheel, the seats, a bit rudimentary looking, in fact they're very rudimentary looking if I'm fair, uh, and then you've got various parts of the suspension etc etc, then we've got our uh, obligatory almost metalised chromed plastic for all things like the radiators and the wheels and the engine, top of the engine. The engine's quite nice the way they've done that actually. That's quite pretty, isn't it? And the brake discs, look at that, brake discs. Cool. <laughs> okay. And on this one I see that this one, is this earlier? What's the date on it? Oh, well, this is 75. Now I knew that because They've gone and coloured the instructions, look. Isn't that nice? They've made the effort. Has this one got any clear parts? Or does it not have any? Oh yes it does, there's tiny, tiny little clear parts here. Very tiny little vestigial windscreen. So we'll pop them away. We'll pop them away. And um, yeah, but it's nice, isn't it? Uh, and people who've built these Matchbox cars, which I haven't done, if I'm honest. Um, 
they're all reported that they go together quite nicely, generally speaking. They're not really a problem at all, as you expect with any matchbox kit. So they keep up the standard of the quality and the, the ease of build. Very nice. <coughs> so pop them back in there. Everything back in. There we go. Now I picked this up. It wasn't cheap. I think I paid thirty pounds for it. Um, seems a lot really, but it's a very very clean example. A lovely box. Even though it's forty four p to start with. <laughs> Dear oh dear. Anyway, last but not least, we've got the Indianapolis. Let's have a look at this. Oh, my, the end of my box flap has just fell off. Somebody has, has bagged a couple of parts here. Oh, several parts have been bagged separately. A very sensible owner has done that. We've got what looks like, is that the base? 1979, this is dated. Our Indianapolis, bit of a write up. She sank in 12 minutes, the ship did. Dear, oh dear. Her loss was not appreciated for three days, that's right, instead of a communications issue. Oh my lord. 900 of her crew perished out of 1,100. 1,200 almost. Gosh, 75% of the crew lost, isn't that terrible? Gee. Oh my goodness. Yeah, carried the first operational atomic bomb from San Francisco to the Marianas Islands. Anyway, we've got, look at the little aircraft, these are nice aren't they? I've done that well. See, Matchbox have got a lot of potential, I think I'd like to have seen perhaps more of these ships being done. The ones that they did do seem quite good and people speak quite highly of them. There's your aircraft, look, nice aren't they? There's the ship's deck. I actually saw there's some video on YouTube, you can actually see that they discovered the wreck of the Indianapolis recently. And there's some footage of an you know, automated um, dive robot who's taking camera footage of it. So you can see pictures of it. Uh, you can see things like the gun turret still intact and all that kind of thing. <coughs> and we've got the side of the ship, because it's like a war they're like a waterline model aren't they these? waterline model. So that was right, that, that piece here. That is the base, basically. Mm. And there's all the guns look at the end. It's quite a nice model to be honest. Yeah, I had multiples of these, I might build one of these, but oof, this is not going to get built. It's orange range this is, by the way. So, yeah. It's in two colours though, which I think is odd. Instead of being, being in three, because orange range is not in three colours. There we go. There are three sprues, I don't know why they couldn't have done three colours really. Anyway, quite a nice product all in all. If you like your ships, it's probably right up your street, that one. And it's got the American Stars and Stripes and the Indianapolis name. Yeah, a bit of a sad story, it's got a bit of a bit of sweet, isn't it? Uh, all those men lost their lives, but they you could argue that they had their they had their revenge from the from their watery grave. They uh, just after it sunk, I don't know, a week after it sunk, two weeks after it sunk, that bomb that they transported was dropped, and that was pretty much, as you know, that was pretty much the end of World War Two. So there we go. Something a little bit different for Matchbox March. We've got the Indianapolis, USS Indianapolis, and, uh, and the Bugatti and the MG uh, TC sports car. So I thought we'd have a look at those separately. Um, keep your eyes peeled. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you'll give me a 10 out of 10. Uh, and a thumbs up, like. Don't forget to subscribe. Cost you nothing. And make sure you click the notifications bell. And select the all option. And there's going to be more coming. We've got the red range. The brown range. The green range. And I'm just talking aircraft. Then we get onto the armour. So it, we're going to basically have one of these every day, I think. And they're running up to Easter, yeah. So keep your eyes peeled. If you, if you enjoy your Matchbox kits and you want to have some nostalgia, stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you found it interesting. I uh, appreciate your time in watching the video and giving us a, a like and a, and a comment. 
hope to see you soon for the next one. In the meantime, look after yourselves, stay safe, stay well. Thanks for your time. See you soon. Take care. Bye for now.